You see that guy? Number 50 for the Denver Nuggets, right? That's Aaron Gordon, and he just became an NBA champion. Not so long ago, he was simply known for his aerial stunts and jaw-dropping dunks. However, in an extraordinary twist of events, Aaron has transformed into a player that even the Greek god of craftsmanship would envy. He's evolved from a slam dunk showman to a tactical savant, a two-way monster who dominates both sides of the court. This is a radical shift from the Aaron Air Gordon moniker. Our guy now proudly carries the title Aaron Ground Gordon. Not quite as catchy, but definitely more impactful. He's traded his capes and trampolines for a hard hat and a lunch pail, making a living as a grinding gear in the smooth running machine that is the Denver Nuggets. Also, it's important to keep in mind that in the fast-paced world of NBA superstars, there's a certain breed of players who don't get enough recognition. Like the silent but steady heartbeat beneath the thunderous roars of the crowd, they go unnoticed yet are indispensable. We're of course talking about role players. The 2023 NBA Finals was an undeniable testimony to their power and effectiveness. We were treated to scintillating performances from Bruce Brown, Caleb Martin, Kentavious Caldwell-Pope, Gabe Vincent, Christian Brown, Duncan Robinson, and Jeff Green. They all had their time under the limelight, each contributing to the series. However, one particular knight in shining armor stood out from the rest, and that's Aaron Gordon. His unparalleled commitment to his team and the pivotal role he played in the Nuggets' victory is nothing short of beautiful. His career transformation is a story that will give any Hollywood script a run for its money for sure. Born on September 16, 1995 in San Jose, California, Aaron was raised in a family where sports ran in the blood. His father, Ed Gordon, a former San Diego State basketball star, and his brother Drew, a professional basketball player, were undeniable influential figures in his athletic journey. Together, they shaped a young and ambitious Aaron, inspiring him to thrive in an environment where perseverance and dedication became second nature. Gordon refined his skills at Archbishop Mini High School, where he impressed the nation with his leaping abilities and natural basketball instincts. His reputation was not only as a high flyer, but also a serial winner. After receiving two consecutive California Mr. Basketball Awards and leading his team to two state championships, Aaron was named to the McDonald's All-American team in 2013. This honor signaled his readiness for the collegiate level, and the University of Arizona became a stage for his next act. At Arizona, Gordon continued to dominate, securing the Pac-12 Freshman Player of the Year in 2014 and leading his team to the Elite Eight in the NCAA Tournament. His explosive performances attracted the attention of NBA scouts, and after just a single year at Arizona, he declared for the NBA Draft. Aaron's NBA journey began in 2014 when the Orlando Magic selected him fourth overall. Thanks to his outstanding athleticism, Gordon was perceived as the next big thing and the savior meant to reignite the Magic's golden era, following the departure of Dwight Howard. Unfortunately, things didn't pan out as expected for our hero. The athletic phenom, most known for his incredible 2016 dunk contest, found himself in a rut, struggled with an injury early on, and was unable to fully tap into his potential averaging only 5 and 9 points per game in his first two NBA seasons. However, life often has a funny way of presenting opportunities. Gordon's career took a turn when Victor Oladipo left the Magic, opening a door for the young star to elevate his game. And much like Eminem and 8 Mile, you know the line, if you have one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. Aaron seized his alright, balled out, and boosted his average to nearly 18 points per game in the 2017-18 season. When Steve Clifford was hired as Orlando's head coach in June 2018, the team discovered a renewed sense of enthusiasm, which led to consecutive playoff bursts in 2019 and 2020. During this time, Gordon already demonstrating signs of a potent offensive game averaging 16 points per game, began to evolve into a defensive titan as well, transforming the Magic's defensive weaknesses into their strength. However, despite these efforts, the Magic's offensive struggles persisted leading to early playoff exits. And as fate would have it, in March 2021, Aaron Gordon and the Magic decided to part ways. Aaron requested the trade due to various reasons. He expressed his frustrations with the management over the team's losses, injuries, and overall performance. He was especially upset about the early playoff exits. His name had consistently been in trade rumors, which suggested a lack of commitment from the team as well. These factors led to his frustration boiling over, resulting in his decision to request a trade and seek a fresh start elsewhere. 
The Denver Nuggets acquired him and power forward Gary Clark in a trade for RJ Hampton, Gary Harris, and a first round pick. Although it seemed like a mere afterthought at the time, in hindsight, it appears to be a stroke of genius. The Nuggets had a gap to fill following the departures of Paul Millsap and later Jeremy Grant. They needed a reliable enforcer, a tough rebounder, and a versatile asset who would contribute points when necessary and alleviate the pressure on their two star players, Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. From the get-go, Gordon adopted the role of Denver's defensive linchpin, significantly enhancing the team's performance on that front. The Nuggets registered an impressive 20-7 record in the last 27 games of the regular season following Aaron's arrival. His addition injected much-needed vitality into the team and a sense of hope among the fans. Denver made the playoffs and defeated Portland in the first round, but they were unfortunately swept by the Phoenix Suns in the Western Conference semifinals. The 2021-22 season turned out to be an uphill battle for the Nuggets. Injuries to Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. were significant setbacks. But Gordon's presence somewhat softened the impact. He averaged 15 points for the season and they made the playoffs in the sixth seed, but were eliminated by the Golden State Warriors in five games. As we rolled into the 2022-23 season, the Nuggets came back stronger and more resilient. They, alongside Milwaukee Bucks, dominated the regular season. A large part of this success was of course due to the MVP Nikola Jokic, but Aaron's evolution as a player cannot be overlooked. He transformed from being a raw talent into a basketball ace, showcasing a high basketball IQ and exceptional versatility on both sides of the court. Gordon averaged 16 points per game and were in contention for an all-star selection, but ultimately wasn't chosen. Aaron became a master at exploiting mismatches and improved his passing and handling skills. His deft cuts, ability to convert offensive rebounds into points, and knack for finding open teammates turned him into an indispensable asset for the Nuggets. The playoffs served as a litmus test for Gordon's transformation. Throughout the series, he held his own against the likes of Anthony Edwards, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, LeBron James, and Jimmy Butler, all of whom have a combined 42 All-Star selections. Not only did he manage to restrict them defensively, but Aaron also made significant contributions to the Nuggets offense. In the decisive Game 4 against the Lakers in the conference finals, Gordon dropped 22 points, along with 5 assists and 6 rebounds. He was instrumental in swinging the momentum towards the Nuggets, propelling them to their first NBA Finals ever. Also in Game 4 of the Finals against the Heat, Gordon was once again at the forefront registering a game-high 27 points and securing the Nuggets a critical 3-1 lead. Aaron was a problem on both ends of the court, shutting down their best players at one end and outmaneuvering their best defenders on the other. And as we all know, the rest is history. Gordon's journey has been a testament to resilience, perseverance, and an unwavering commitment to his team. From being a raw, underutilized talent in Orlando to becoming an integral part of a championship-winning team in Denver, his transformation has been truly remarkable. What was once a far-fetched dream, Aaron Gordon, the third best player on a championship team, is today a reality. His story underscores the importance of continually evolving, adapting, and more importantly, prioritizing the team's interests over personal glory. Speaking of personal glory, LeBron James' youngest son, Bryce James, is on the verge of surpassing his older, more famous brother, Bronny. Standing tall at 6'6 at just 15 years old, Bryce is starting to turn heads in the basketball world. His unexpected growth has caught everyone off guard, and he wants to show that he's not here just because of his famous family, but because he's got the talent, the grit, and the hardworking attitude to potentially become an even better player than his older brother and maybe even his father. I made a video about Bryce, his game, the sudden growth spurt, and why his basketball future looks brighter than ever. Check it out.